Digital business cards act as a convenient and interactive alternative to the more traditional print business card. They also save you a ton of money on printing costs as they allow you to edit information at any time without the need to reorder physical cards. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to quickly and easily create a digital business card using Beaconstack. We'll also cover how to add your new digital business card to your Apple wallet so that you can access it and share your vCard details on the go. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you're logged into your Beaconstack account, we're gonna go ahead and hit create up in the top right. From there, we're going to select digital business card. And then we'll go ahead and select our preferred layout. Have a look at the three different options here and then choose whichever one you like the best. I'm going to go ahead and select the third option here, mainly because it has the social media icons close to the top. All right, so this is where the fun begins. This is where we can start to enter all of our personal information. Now, while we work through this tutorial, I will be using placeholder content. So none of this information is actually my own. It's really just information that I'm using as an example. So let's start out by replacing the profile picture. And we can do that by clicking on the user image. From there, we'll hit upload to upload a file from our computer. And then from there, we can resize and crop the image. Once you're happy with the sizing, we'll hit crop. So let's go ahead and move on to the name section here. We'll then continue on with the last name. I'm going to move on to the designation section, and this is where essentially I'm going to add a role or a title for the business card. And then we can also add a department. You also have the option to add pronouns if you'd like. And then of course, we'll go ahead and add the company name. Beaconstack does a really good job of allowing you to preview your digital business card over on the right hand side. So definitely check this area out as you create your business card. Next, we'll move on to summary. And the nice thing about a digital business card is that you can fit so much more information on it. There's really just so much more real estate compared to a physical business card. So we'll continue on down to the branding section. And this is where we can do things like add a logo. So we'll hit browse. And then again, we'll upload a file from our computer. Again, we can resize and crop the image. And of course, we'll hit crop when we're done. And this essentially adds your logo to the very top of your digital business card. Next, we're going to customize our digital business card even further, and we'll do so by editing the primary color. So if you have a color that you can pull from your logo and you know the actual code, you can insert it here. If you wanted, you could also manually select a color as well. So I'll just put back our logo color here. You can also edit the text colors. And you do have the option to play around with the font size as well as the font itself. Next, we're going to add contact details, starting with our phone number. And again, since we can add so much information to our digital business card, we do have the option to add additional phone numbers. So let's say we wanted a work phone number and then a mobile phone number. We can certainly do that. So now I'll go ahead and add the mobile number. And then let's move on down to the email address. And then I'll go ahead and add this for the website. 
And then you also have the option to add a custom field. And I'll show you what that looks like. So let's say we wanted to add our hours onto our business card. So that's what that custom field would look like. And of course it's completely optional, so we can remove it if we'd like. Next, we can also add our address if we'd like, and you can either search for it in the Google Maps bar up at the top, or you can enter it manually. Last but not least, I'm going to enter our social media links. Of course, this day and age, it's very important that people know how to connect with you even outside of your digital business card. So while it's very important to include things like your website and your phone number, it's also important to include social media links if you have them. So let's go ahead and add Facebook. And I'll just replace the username here. And again, I'm just using placeholder content here as an example, this person doesn't actually exist. Next, we'll move on to Instagram and just do the same thing. And we'll add a few more here as well. LinkedIn is going to be the last social media icon that we're going to add to our digital business card. So let's go ahead over onto the right hand side and give it one last look before we finish up. So the very top we have the company logo, followed by the profile picture. We have the person's first and last name along with their pronouns. We have their designation, their department and company name followed by a short summary, their social media icons, and then their contact information below. And then you'll notice that at the very bottom, there is a add to contacts button. And that's just a button that your clients and customers can click on in order to add your vCard details to their phone. So if you're happy with your digital business card and you don't need to make any more changes, we'll hit the next button. And this is where we can customize the design of our QR code. So we can do things like add a gradient. We can also add a logo. And while we do have the option to use different logos found here in the bottom, we can also remove it and upload a file from our computer again. So I'll go ahead and hit upload. And then I'll just resize it a little bit. and then hit crop. And as you'll see here, we can now see our icon in the middle of the QR code. Next, we'll have a look at the eyes of the QR code. And we can choose different shapes, as well as different colors. So let's say we wanted to pull the blue from the icon. We can certainly do that. And then we can also change the shape and the color of the iframe. Beacon Stack helps you to optimize your QR code by letting you know what the scannability rate is. And in this case, it says that it's good, but it does say that it recommends modifying the iframe color to improve the scan performance. So let's revisit this color down here. And maybe we just need to make it a little bit darker. There you have it. It now says that the scannability is excellent. And I'm quite liking the QR code so far. Let's have a look at the last three options here, starting with pattern. And this of course is where you can change the pattern of your QR code. And if you'd like, this is where you can change the colors of your either your solid color option or the gradient option. But I quite like the lighter blue to darker blue, and it kind of fits the tech theme that we're going for. So next we'll move on to background. And you have three options here. We've got transparent, 
We also have an image, or we can just simply leave it as a color. I'm going to leave it as is with a white background just because I think it looks much cleaner and I quite like it the way it is. So next we'll hit frames. And as you can see, there are quite a few different frames to choose from. There's even a circle here. And I actually like the first one. From there, I'll just update the color. And then you can also edit the frame text. All right, so I'm all done customizing the design of the QR code. So I'll go ahead and hit next. And that's it. It says, congratulations, your digital business card connected with QR code is ready. Again, over on the right, we have the preview of our digital business card. And we can also have a look at the QR code itself. So that's great. Our digital business card is now ready to go, but I also wanted to show you how to add it to your Apple wallet so that you can access it easily from your smartphone. So to do that, all we have to do is click on the Apple wallet pass. Now, if you don't have an iPhone, you also do have the option to add it to a Google wallet. But for this example, I will be using the Apple wallet. So I'll go ahead and click on this button here. So it says here that in order to get the Apple Wallet Pass, we can either scan the QR code on our screen or enter an email address and send it to ourselves or to someone else. So I'll go ahead and scan our QR code here and I'll just hit open in Chrome. And then from there it asks whether or not I would like to add the card to our wallet. So I'll hit add in the top right hand corner. And once I've added it, the card has been added to my Apple Wallet. If you'd like, you can click on the information icon in the top right to view the information that's stored within the card itself. So now that you have this really awesome looking QR code that's jam packed with all of your contact information, you can go ahead and download it and then share it on things like marketing material, perhaps your email signatures and so on. In addition to being able to create custom digital business cards, Beacon Stack makes it easy to do things like integrate Google Analytics, where you can learn more about the behavior of the people scanning your QR codes, and it also allows you to perform tasks like bulk uploads, where you can literally create thousands of QR codes in a single click. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and be sure to check out the links in the description of this video for a free 14 day Beacon Stack trial. With the trial, you can have a poke around and create your very own digital business card.